server needs me. It's only been a week since I've arrived, and already, pranks have occurred everywhere. There's no stopping them, unless I can do something about it. Chairman Meow commissioned me to rid his base of cats, and I intend on doing just that. Thank you, Blackstone, for saving me from the cats. It was most terrifying. And you did a perfect job. All in a day's work, Chairman. I tell you, those cats were up to something. Hopefully you can unravel this knot of despair that has become of me. That's exactly what I came here for. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll get to the top of this. And I'll get around it as well. But first, I really need to find those cough drops. My voice hurts. I'm super thirsty. Do you got any water? We, uh, uh, d um... Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so much better. So much better. I needed it. I needed that water. Okay. I must be off. I have to disappear. No one will know it was me. Awesome. Whoa, it's daytime already. I gotta be out of here. My legs hurt. I've been stood here all night. Blackstone, coming to a cinema near you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode on the Project Hydra server. My name is Fandoman. This is Season 1, Episode 8, and we are flying over my orange juice glass that we completed last episode. Got the orange juice on top and a mob farm inside. Let's take a look and see those rates. Take a look at these chests. Completely full. Look at that. All sorts of goodies in here. We got our bones, our string, rotten flesh, gunpowder, arrows, free arrows. And that's what I'm talking about. Whoops, I'm kind of hungry. Time for some Fando Flakes. Uh oh, I can't see. I can't see. I'm... That That's spooky. It's spooky having the Fando Flakes with the random effect like that. Let's have another, see what happens. Ah, still blindness. Here you go. Speaking of Fandle Flakes, let's go to the shopping district and check our profits and see how well the Fandle Flakes are selling. I'm a fuzz. Where's the portal? Here's the portal. Okay, 
And here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, the shopping district. Full of color, full of plate, full of color, full of people. Jay says hi. I made some improvements to the Emporium. It says Fandos on the top and banners. Got some banner letters. Spell out my name. Profit time. No prismarine. No bricks. No dark. No lanterns. No ink. Did somebody take ink without paying? I could have sworn I had this full of ink. Unbreaking three. No books. No more pie. No carrots. No name tags. That's fine. Let's check the cereal. Around the back. I got a ladder that goes all the way to the top of the roof where we can check our first weeks of profits of Fando Flakes. First of all, any franchises? No, not yet. We really gotta get on these. Fando Flakes franchises are the finest thing to happen to the fiscal market. Okay, normal Fando Flakes. Sold three boxes. Not bad, 24 diamonds. And Fando Flakes Light. No takers. Okay. And berry Fando Flakes. One taker. 34 diamonds in Fando Flakes. That's not too bad. Oh, and I got a review board. Please leave a review. Fando Flakes review board. They are very, 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 very tasty. 4.5 out of 5 stars. That's 9 out of 10. And last but not least, let's see if anybody sought treasures at Black Flag. Nope, that's fine. I think Danny Q is going to be starting her own treasure hunt game, so I think it's only fair to give someone else a chance for once. It's a kitty! Get the kitty! Come here, kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Hello. Hello. Here, kitty. Come here, kitty. I want to play with you. Get it. Okay, so now that we checked our profits... Ah, I can't see again! I can't see. Where did everybody go? Now that we've checked our profits at the shop, we're going to head back to our base and talk about what we're going to do this episode. But first... Looky here, everyone. The chicken on a raft is all grown up. And he's sitting on my lap. He's so cute. So I just want to say Danny Q, whose base is right behind me, next to the chicken on a raft, she actually sang along to me and posted a little short video of it. So I would highly encourage everyone go and check that out. Show another agent some uh, support. Ah, yo, chicken on a raft. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. Uh, up. Oh, Elytra broke. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ow. Don't you just hate it when that happens? You're flying through the air, and your elytra breaks, and you just plummet onto where, wherever you are flying, with no way of getting to your destination safely, even if you still have plenty of rockets? There's got to be a better way. So on today's Handicraft Corner, I'm going to be showing you how to make a flying machine that will never run out of durability. And how am I going to do that, you might ask? Well, simple with the Handicrafter's other secret weapon, slime blocks. So for this build, what we're gonna need is a sticky piston, a normal piston, a couple of slime blocks, and plenty of observers, as well as a couple building blocks for safe measure. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is put your normal piston just like that with a slime block attached to it that way. Next up, you're going to want to put your sticky piston attached to the slime block facing in the opposite directions. Add a slime block onto that one, and then you're going to want to take a, an observer, put it on top of that one, and then an observer on the other one facing the opposite direction. And there you have it. A flying machine. The only thing you need to do to activate it is to put something 
right in front of this observer to trigger the whole thing. But we're not going to do that until we're on the flying machine. That's right. We got to ride it. Okay, so the only thing left to do is put a chair in the front so we can sit there and just enjoy the ride. That ought to do it. All right. So all we have to do to activate this thing is to place a block in front of this observer right here. And that will just trigger the whole thing. So remember, if your friends don't find it captivating, they should at least find you crafty. Now if you excuse me, I gotta fly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Well, uh, I made it to the shopping district, but, uh, crashed into the flagpole. Well, I mean, at least my standards were high. Ah, yes, home sweet home. Ah! That could have been really bad. There's something to think about. Don't eat Fando Flakes while flying. Do not operate heavy machinery while consuming Fando Flakes. Hello, Bob. How are you doing? Sorry about all your friends. They must have, uh, all went swimming in the pool here. Yep, it's a sad sight, Bob. All your friends eventually wandered into this pool here and melted and I had absolutely nothing to do with that nothing whatsoever but speaking of Bob I was actually online the other day with our good friend Knight and he has a Bob of his own in his base and Bob is Knight's robot Ow. and Bob gives Knight suggestions on what he should be doing next on the server. So let's go to Knight's base, which I think he's up here somewhere, and let's go meet Bob. I believe it's this one right here. Okay. Ow. So this is night space. We just have to find ourselves a way in. Knock, knock, night. He's not online. Can't find his door. This could be a door. We we'll just have to. Yep. Nope. Help! I'm stuck. When in doubt, use kinetic energy. Let's see here. Watcha! Ow! Ow! Nope! Didn't work! Didn't work at all! 
Redstone. Aha! We're in. Ah, yes. Here's Bob. So, the way Bob works is you hit a button, and you get a suggestion. And it looks like 13 is an emerald. I have no idea what that means. I'm just, I'm just going to give that back. And no flakes. Best meal ever. Leave through the front door. Because I found it. Ow. So what I've done back at my base is I've actually created an entire shulker box full of suggestions for Knight's Bob Machine. So I got all sorts of things for him to do. Like... Spawn proof your base. Buy some coordinates at the black flag. Shameless self-promotion there. Spend 20 diamonds at Danny Q's shop. Get a pet parrot. Sleepy time. Fortune 3 a diamond shovel. Spend 20 diamonds at Bonded Salt's shop. Tag. You're it. Raid farm. Buy some Fando Flakes today. Another shameless self-promotion there. Eat an entire stack of chorus fruit. Make pixel art. Find Dongo the donkey and feed him. Fill someone's base with pickles. Fill this shulker box with goodies and give it to somebody. Fill a shulker with lava buckets. Build an AFK phantom farm. Give a quest to Blackstone at the signal. Chairman Meow, in his gratitude to Blackstone, actually created a Blackstone statue and a signal. So basically, if any agent on the server needs Blackstone to come and save the day, all they have to do is flick this lever and beams of yellow light will shoot into the sky, signaling to Blackstone that there's a message for him. But Blackstone will come, see the signal, and 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 save the day in, in the manner requested. But he's not the hero we need right now, so we'll keep the signal off. Yeah, I did it again. All right, what do we got next? Make a music disc farm. Build and fight a wither. Build a gold farm. Bonded salt for mayor. He can interpret that any way he wants. Find and clear a bastion. Automatic potato farm. Repair me to 100%. Go on an end bust. Last but not least, make an infinity room. I think it's time to fill up the special shulker with all the challenges. We're going to head on over to Knight's base and load up Bob with all these challenges. And this time, I'll remember where the door is. Hey, there's Bob. Hi, Bob. Let's load him up with some suggestions. There we go. Challenges are all set. So all this talk an action about challenges for Bob has gotten me thinking. What if I did challenges for the whole server? And since we're all agents, why not call it Mission Improbable? Or Improbable Mission or something like that. Where I come up with ridiculous ideas for people to try in Minecraft on the server and all they have to do is go over to a secret location and press a button. So I'm gonna head over to that secret location. Hey, no peeking. It looks familiar, doesn't it? Looks a lot like the shopping district, but it isn't. This is another Mushroom Island, completely untouched by the rest of the agents. Now, we all agreed over Discord that this is gonna be our mini game district. And today, I'm gonna build our very first mini game, Mission Improbable. This spot should be good. Let's take out our box of bad ideas and get cracking. Ow.
Okay, that ought to do it. So I kind of decked out the interior right here. Um, so the way that this game is going to work is it's a two-player game where two players essentially challenge themselves to collaborate on a ridiculous mission of my design. So the first person comes in here, they're like, hmm, I want to play Fandom Man's game. So he'll go through this barrel, search for his head, and if he's willing to play, he'll put his head right there to signify that he's the challenger, and then he can sign up any one of his friends that he wants. Or if there's somebody else that comes with them that want to play, then they just search for their head in this barrel, and then they place their head right there. And then we can see that we have Fando Man and Fando Man are going to do it. And that's just, this is just for test purposes, of course, because, you know, you can't, I can't play with myself. This is my game. So once we got two heads here, what's going to happen is they're going to flick this lever and the beacon beam, there it is, is going to shine through. It shines through red through the bottom. And then this glass up here is black. So if we go outside, we'll see it's actually a crimson beam. So when the beacon is lit, or that signals to me that there are two players ready to play this game. Once I find out that there's two players waiting to play, I will send each of them instructions on what to do next via a dead drop. So I'm going to hide a container inside their bases, and that will signal to them it's time to start the mission. And then they play the game together, whatever those instructions will be, and they'll have a good old time doing that. So that's how it works. You can challenge anyone on the server you want, but if you do so, you have to play too. So let's read the rules. Hello, Agent. Welcome to the secret headquarters to Mission Improbable, a two-player cooperative minigame for Project Hydra agents. To request a mission, do everything that I just explained. Uh, keep your wits about you. These missions are challenging, dangerous, and absurdly ridiculous. A mission may or not require you to perform the following actions. Uh, dying, losing your stuff, player versus player, uh, be recorded on my camera account, uh, spend your diamonds, grind for resources, build structures, travel long distances, eat poisonous items, drink random potions, reboot your computer, and use search engines, and many, many other things. Um, basically, these challenges can be anything I can think of. Uh, if you do not find your player head in these chests, I mean, they're looking kind of empty at the moment, uh, you'll have to obtain them in some other way in order to place them on top of the barrels. So these missions require exactly two participants. You can sign up any other agent to participate, but if you do so, you must join them on their mission. Um, the completion of each mission will include a prize for the participants. I haven't decided what it is yet, probably in the form of diamond blocks or maybe even netherite. Uh, for more information about Mission Improbable, contact Fando Man. Good luck out there, Agent. So, you the viewer. Yes, I'm talking directly to you. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Anyway, I need your help. So these missions, I got a bunch of ideas in my head already. But if you have something that you think is ridiculous, that you want to see people do together in Minecraft, uh, leave a comment on this video, and I'll add them all up into my mission briefings. And I'll hook up like a dispenser, and I'll choose them randomly. And we'll see how many of your suggestions actually make it onto the server. Sound like a good idea? No? Well then let's do it! So while we're waiting for those suggestions... Ow. Let's hear a word from our sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by... Bedrock! Bedrock is the toughest, most indestructible block in all of Minecraft. So if Bedrock is so indestructible, how do we obtain it? That's a good question! Bedrock can be found by mining all the way down to the very bottom of the overworld. Don't forget the torches, it's dark down here. And there it is! If the nether is more your thing, head on up to the ceiling. That's where the bedrock is. 
Almost there. Look at that. We found it. Simply head on over to a crafting bench, take four netherite ingots, bring it into a square, and there you have it. One block of indestructible bedrock. And when I say indestructible, I mean indestructible. What? Is one type of bedrock not good enough for you? Try bedrock moist. Just look at those drips. Have a stubborn lake or pond you need to get rid of? Just add bedrock. Ta-da! Not only is bedrock indestructible and super absorbent, it's edible as well. Mmm, minerals. Bedrock, fun for the whole family. Well, there's nothing like a good bowl of Flando Flakes after a long day of mining. Duh. I'm all out of Fando Flakes. Got any in the bowl? Let's see if I got any left. Box of Fando Flakes. Empty. Alright. To the factory! <laughs> what has happened to you guys? There's a zombie. How did you get in here? We can't have that. And we get the one in the middle. Yep. Oh, he. No, he's got it. Uh oh. Well, that can only mean one thing. That ought to ward people from getting in there and getting killed by the zombie. Man, this is going to be so much paperwork. Anyway, that's kind of a sad note to end the episode on, but I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Hopefully we can get all this cleaned up and reopen the factory soon. Oh dear. What are we going to do? Well, until next time. Bye for now. <laughs>